My plan is to give you a tour of the geothermal system on this project that I built back in 2008. I thought I'd start with an aerial tour of the entire project, giving you an idea of the scope. But it's 22 degrees. I'm in a shirt, a thermal shirt and two jackets, but I can't wear any gloves and control the drone very well. So I am freezing and realizing that my control isn't very good. So instead of flying out around the island and doing a beautiful fly in, I decided that I had about five minutes in my fingers. So I turned around and came right in. So this is the geothermal field. It's a big sports field, a big play field, but it is filled with lines that carry water or a fluid in it uh, to bring out the warmer earth temperature six feet down. It is end to end with six foot deep, four foot wide trenches filled with the water lines uh, that are basically a PEX type product. They are laid in the trenches like a slinky. They're laid down and stretched out, just like if you imagine taking a slinky and doing that with it. We had to do one trench from end to end, fill it with the lines, then fill the, backfill the trench, and then do the next one. So it was quite a project. That system heats the pool building, the floor, with hydronic heat, basically floor lines in the concrete, and the pool is also heated with it. This is the utility room for the pool building, and there are two big climate masters. Those are the electric heat pumps that take the water out of the ground and continue heating it to heat the pool. And then the one closest to the wall does the floor. And then the silver one that we passed by a minute ago, that one uses uh, or creates warm air for uh, taking care of the humidity in the room. And this is a big gas fired, basically an Insta hot. We have a big outdoor jacuzzi that uh, stays cold all the time, but you turn it on and it's heated instantly. This is the utility room for the main house, a 7,000 foot house. There are the three climate masters that take the water out of the geothermal field and continue heating it. They're electric. And then there are eight Wurzbo distribution panels throughout the house. And those are the eight pumps that circulate to those. And then each of those have valves, which we'll see those in a minute with zones. So there's many zones throughout the house, but uh, from those valves, you only want to go 300 feet maximum with your line. And that's the whole loop. So we have these manifolds by Warsbo that are throughout. This is the Tecmar control system that runs those and this is a schematic of the whole design and layout. That is basically a big thermos. That's where we get free hot water off of the system. It's just a byproduct. But then we fill these two tanks that are in line that are electric tanks with that hot water and they continue to heat and keep it hot. So it's a very efficient system and a system that never falls behind. The whole system has a huge manual that was put together by the designer so that uh, in the future it can be worked on. And then there were photographs taken of every single part of the project. And this is what the Wurzbow manifolds looks like. And you can see each line is labeled and those little valves open them up when there's a call for heat. And finally, this is a water to air heat exchanger. We use the same system to air condition the house in the summertime. And there's the venting for it. One correction. I said Warsbo a couple of times. That is typically the product that I use, but on this house we used Rayhow. So that's just a competitive product. So it's Rayhow instead of Warsbo. Additionally, I want to point out that this photograph that I'm showing you here is of a Ford pulling a Chevy. And that's pretty typical in our region where we have real contractors that need real trucks so that we can help our buddies out that have Chevys. If you like these project videos and you'd like to see more, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, but most important, share these videos with others. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.